So I've had a couple holsters now for going on four months apiece. Uh, one for my FMP 45 Tactical, light bearing with a Streamlight TLR1S, and one for my Glock 19. I now live in Colorado, uh, so uh, open carry is legal out here. So I have actually been using these holsters pretty extensively. Um, FN holster, not so much around town. Uh, go up in the mountains for the day, go shoot and play, hike, whatever, I'll have the FN with me. Um, that is a, oh man, it's dark. That is a uh, FMP 45 Tactical. And the holster is made by a company called Blade Tech. Blade Tech USA, this is a level 2 light bearing holster. This is the only level 2 holster that I could find for this gun. Uh, Raven Concealment makes one light bearing also, but it's only level one. Uh, I, I do carry it around town sometimes, not very often. Pretty much I only carry Glock 19, that's that's my normal carry, but this, I mean this is just a big package. Uh, this holster, as it came because there was an upcharge for the color, there was an upcharge for the duty style because it comes with this drop and offset you see right here so the holster actually cants itself out away from you like that. Um, and there's also an upcharge for it being level 2. And it's a pretty cool level 2. It works like a thumb brake, so you push on the lever, and then you draw. Obviously, most people that know Kydex, these are tensioned. There's a little rubber bushing inside of there. You can see there and there. Little rubber bushings you can see. Um, Super, super form perfection. The holster weighs almost nothing, but so I don't have a scale in here. It's not important. Uh, the holster weighs almost nothing by itself. The gun is a tank. 15 rounds of 45 is no joke by itself, plus this behemoth of a pistol. So I don't carry it a lot. Like I said, pretty much up in the mountains. But form, fit, and finish. This holster is absolutely immaculate. Covers the lens on the flashlight really well. You're not gonna get this thing to deploy on accident. There's actually a little tab right here that works just like a thumb brake. You push it out to the side. And then this is spring loaded. Snaps out of the way really, really fast. And I opted for the paddle. You can get whatever you want. They have like seven different options. So it's a really fast draw to quite a beast of a hole. So you get some light to shine in there. <laughs> uh, my camera doesn't like that. TLR1S on a FMP Tactical 45 Blade Tech holster Blade Tech level 2 holster I don't remember what they called this I have no idea I think it's like a WRS weapon retention system not sure about that the other one is for my Freshly painted, well not so fresh, it's been this color for a couple weeks now. Starting to show a little bit of wear. You can see on the trigger, trigger guard around all the sharp corners. Back here where I grip it. That's really, it's really all the wear on the gun. Just the sharp edges. This is from the leather holster that I'm about to show you. Um, but this is my normal carry, that's what I carry pretty much every day. And this is what I carry it in most days. When I'm wearing a jacket, it's open. I carry it outside the waistband. Sometimes I'll carry it in in this. If it's hot out, I'm not feeling like drawing any attention to myself. So on and so forth. But this is a Cobra gun skin. This is apparently the uh, 
NYPD's issued holster, specifically made for 19s. It says it won't fit 23s, Glock 23. I don't know why it wouldn't. I haven't tried it. I don't have a Glock 23. Never plan on getting one, but it says it won't fit it. As far as I know, they're the same dimensions. But it's a three hole, two in the front. So I pretty much just carry it this way, canted forward. And it is very fast once it's broken in. Uh, when I first got it, you could see how this is molded down to the trigger guard. Yeah, just like that. When I first got it, it was really inset. Now that it's broken in, it, it only grabs the pistol slightly. So, I mean, it, it's a thumb brake holster, so, I mean, it's not coming out on accident, but that is an outstanding, comfortable holster. That is, and with as light as Glock 19s are, I mean, you can't really go wrong. That is quite an EDC. That is super comfort, and that is a lot of firepower in a real small package, 15 plus one, as most people know, Glock 19. Very easy thumb brake. Comes with, you can see the Cobra emblem on there, kinda. Like I said, I wear this a lot, so the paint's kinda coming off. But you see it's on this metal bar, so as you push up here, it stays stiff. Like pretty much every other leather thumb brake holster from what I understand and from what I've had. But highly recommend it. I got this on eBay for thirty dollars. Everywhere I've el everywhere else I've ever seen Cobra Gun Skin. For Glock 19, this exact holster was <sighs> price level was on par with pretty much like Galco, Galco gun leather. Uh Cobra Gunskin, definitely recommend it if you can find a deal like mine, like I got it, especially. So, a couple holsters I've been using for the past probably four or five months. Figured I'd get it out there. See ya.